been trying this entire time. In front of me, we have two different plates of pancake. Can you tell me what the difference is? Uh, the right one looks bigger. That is correct. And that is because the right one is <gasps> filled with cardboard. <gasps> but in reality, both of these two plates have exactly only three pancakes each. So let me show you other ways we've been tricked without food. All right, guys, what we got here is how you make the pizza look more cheesy for the TV commercials without actually adding more cheese, okay? First, to add a screwdriver to the pizza so it doesn't fall down. And then you mix glue into the mozzarella. So they're actually not using real cheese, guys. They're using glue. And look at this. They're just gonna apply it to the pizza. And in just any second now, look how cheesy that looks already. Like, we've been tricked the whole time. Like, what? Remember when you watch a TV commercial, you're like, damn, the pizza is so cheesy, but it's actually just glue. Next up, we got a bowl with some jello, okay? And then they're adding some more glue, okay? This is a little bit of sus. And next, they're adding cereal. Guys, would you look at that? That's the reason why the cereal is floating on top, because it's stuck by glue and jello. Like, what? This is crazy, guys. And if you're ever wondering how the perfect cereal is made, it's made with glue, and there's a comparison because look how bad it looks with actual milk versus the glue one. And next up, we're using plastic ice cubes, okay? That's how they do it in the movies and TV commercials to make the ice not melt. Look at that. If you're wondering why is the ice not melting in a movie or a show, and that is because they're using ice cubes to trick us. And would you look at that, if you're using real ice cubes, it will actually melt. Surprising. All right, guys, this is what they do for TV commercials. In order to make something stay on top of the bowl, they just put a smaller bowl inside of it so they can put stuff on top without it falling down. And that is another life hack they use for TV commercials. Why are you spraying hairspray on fruits? We're about to find out. Okay, they're spraying hairspray on fruits and it's to make it more shiny. Nothing is real, guys. Everything is just a lie. Okay, what we got here, we're putting soap in a bottle or a cup, whatever you want to call it. And then you add the drink on top. Oh, it creates more foam. Guys, if you're ever wondering, how does it have so much foam, whether it's in a movie or a TV show, and that is because they're adding soap to it. And guys, remember, everything we see here, you cannot eat the food afterwards, okay? Making that clear. Okay, what we got here, we got a nice bowl of ramen. What are they putting on top? They're putting corn syrup on top. Why are they doing that? What is the reasoning for this? We're about to find out. It makes it look more fresh. Oh my God, it actually does. Guys, look how more fresh it looks. Nothing is real anymore. This is insane. Okay, what we got here, we are putting a cheese on top of a bun. Okay, nothing unusual so far. Okay, another meat patty and another cheese. Okay, we're melting the cheese. Okay, nothing unusual so far, okay? And we got a lettuce, okay? They're putting a toothpick in there to make it hold on still so it can look nice and good for the photos. Oh my God, guys. Can you already see this? They're adding sponge to make the burger look bigger. <gasps> Oh my god, that's how they do it. They just add a sponge to make the burger look bigger. That is insane. Okay, look how much bigger that burger looks compared to a normal one. This is crazy, guys. The TV commercials are fooling us. Woo, look at that strawberry cake, guys. Wait a minute, are they adding lipstick to the strawberry cake? Let me guess, they're doing this to make the strawberry look more shiny. And of course it does. Now the strawberry looks so much more red. And of course, it's not real. They're doing it with lipstick. And as you guys can see, look how much nicer it looks with lipstick. This is crazy. Some of this stuff I've never seen before. And you may be wondering, son, what's the wall behind you? I'm writing everyone's name to subscribe on this wall, so make sure you subscribe. Okay, we got an apple looking nice. Okay, what's going on here? Shocking secrets of the food industry. I'm excited. Okay, what we got here? Ooh, shops by apples that are covered in wax what i didn't even know that guys make sure you wash the apples now because apparently they add the wax on the apple to make it look more shiny okay next we got someone pouring fanta in a cup okay and they're adding some paper to it why would they do that we're about to find out <gasps> coloring is transferred to the white napkin oh my god guys that just goes to show how much food coloring there is in Fanta. I mean, it's pretty obvious because there's no such thing as orange drink, right? Next, we got a muffin. Ooh, I'm excited to see what they're doing with the muffin. Okay, they're rinsing it in some water. Oh no, what's going on here? Ah, oh, what is going on? What are they doing? Why would they do that to the muffin? Oh no, what is that? 
What? What is this? That's my, that's my question too. What is that? What? There's cottons in muffins? I don't know if that's real or not, but that's pretty crazy. Okay, we got two different types of mayonnaise and they're adding some medicine to it or some experimental liquid to it? Wait, why is one of them purple and the other one still normal color? <gasps> What? Apparently there's some bad mayonnaise and some good mayonnaise, I guess. Okay guys, we're adding some honey. Wait, it's fake honey. What do you mean fake honey? Okay, they're adding cold water. Wait, is that how you know if the honey is real or if it's actually fake honey? <gasps> Whoa! That is pretty cool. Honey is diluted with sugar syrup. Oh, that means it's fake. Okay, now we got natural honey, okay? What we got here, okay, if you mix it in water, okay, I assume nothing's gonna happen, right? What is going on? Okay, we're mixing, we're mixing, we're mixing. Oh, you can see the honeycomb pattern. That's if you know if it's made out of honey. That is cool, guys, that is cool. What we got here is ramen. I love ramen, guys. Leave a like on the video if you love ramen, okay? Because I love ramen. They're about to show us something that we didn't know. Yo, it's so small. We all knew this. We've been tricked our whole time. Look how big the packaging is. Of course, we've been tricked this whole time. Okay, we got some cottage cheese. Okay, they're adding iodine again. Okay, we're about to find out some dirty secrets here, okay? One of them is turning purple and that's harmful. Okay, interesting. And the other one, I assume, is natural ingredients. And yeah, like it looks normal. Okay, we got some fries. They're about to show us another food commercial tricks. Okay, I'm excited to see how they've been tricking us. Okay, we got a cardboard, we're cutting it out. Okay, it's in the shape of a triangle. They're stacking it on top of each other. Is that cake? Oh no. They've just been tricking us. What? This whole time, I thought they had a lot of cream inside, but in reality, it's just cardboard, guys. What? Why are they tricking us like this? This is not fair. Look how good that looks, guys. In reality, it just looks like that. Of course, the commercial one looks so much better, but you cannot actually eat it. Next up, we got another burger. What are they about to do? Let's see, they're lighting something to heat it up, I assume. <gasps> Wait, is that how they make the grill marks? No freaking way. What? They probably just put that burger in the microwave and then just added the extra burnt marks. What? We've been tricked our whole time, guys. Look at the difference, the commercial versus real life. Okay, we got some dry ice. Okay, what's next? Some hot water? Okay, that's how we make the smoke, okay? I knew that, I knew that because, you know, I went to science class, guys. Come on, everyone know that. <gasps> oh, they're doing that to make the food looks hot. Oh my goodness, that makes so much sense. Because most of the time, the food is just fake food. So it's not actually gonna be hot. Makes sense. Next, we got instant mashed potatoes. Okay, we'll get some powder. We're adding some water because that is how you make instant mashed potatoes. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay, they're adding food coloring. Why would they do that? Okay, they're making the mashed potato now pink. Oh no! I feel like I know what this is, guys. What? They're using mashed potatoes as ice cream? Why do that actually look like ice cream? No freaking way. There's no way. What? Of course, because the real ice cream will melt and the mashed potato wouldn't. Okay, we got a big chicken right here. Self tanning spray? Don't tell me they actually don't cook the chicken and they just use tanning spray. What? Are you serious? I'm so excited to see what it looks like in the end. Wow, all of a sudden the chicken just went from uncooked to looking almost fully cooked in less than 10 seconds. There's no way, that looks so real. What? That looks so much better than the cooked one. Okay, we got a cup. We're putting some aspirin inside and we're adding some soda. Okay, why we're doing that? And the reason why we're doing that is, is to make it look more bubbly. Look at the difference, guys. Look at the difference. Okay, we got some grapes and we're putting baby powder on top. Why would you do that? Let's find out. Okay, they're brushing it. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, what's the reason? Okay, then they're spraying some water. Oh, they're making it look so much more fresh than the real one. That is pretty crazy, guys. 